Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And if you've been trolling through the forums recently or have seen my Twitter or my Facebook page, you'll know that I've been working on something uh, uh, a little interesting. Uh, nothing huge, but it does uh, give a little flair to our touchpad. Uh, I'm going to turn my touchpad on here. And you'll notice that when MoBoot comes up, it's not quite the same MoBoot you're used to seeing. Uh, this is, uh, well, it's still the same MoBoot, but it's got a little flair to it. Uh, I have been talking to uh, J.C. Sullins on the uh, IRC channel, and uh, he is the creator of this wonderful and amazing program, uh, MoBoot, and uh, he enlightened me on the inner workings of uh, how it pulls the uh, black screen and, and whatnot, and so I've made one, and I shared it with uh, the community, and uh, it, it, it dawned on me that maybe uh, some of you might want to do this on your own. So uh, I'm here to uh, share this uh, with the world. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to explain to you what this is, and then I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, using GIMP. Uh, you could use Photoshop, but we'll get to that. So here it is. Um, basically, it's the exact same MoBoot you've always had, except uh, I have replaced the uh, black screen, uh, the background, with this image that I've created. And this image has specific requirements, and I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, but you'll also notice that it did take a slight bit longer to load, uh, and, and that's, again, that's something that, that comes with a bigger image file. This image file is about one megabyte, whereas the original was about 76. 6K. So um, again, I, I don't want to take any credit here. This is J.C. Sullen's program. This is his app, but uh, uh, he's shown me how to tweak this, and I'm going to now show you so we can all have the benefit uh, of knowing how to do this. Uh, I'll just show you here. I'll just go ahead and boot into CyanogenMod and show you that, uh, see how it kind of pans away, uh, and then it also replaces the black screen there. So that's what we would expect to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, obviously, I can't expect everyone to have Photoshop. Uh, that's uh, several hundred dollars, if not you know thousands of dollars for the uh, Adobe Suite. So what I've just chosen to do is show you how to do this with a free program, uh, one that some of our, our Linux uh, users are going to be very familiar with. It's called GIMP. And so I've downloaded GIMP. Uh, I'll put a link to it, uh, GIMP for Windows, or if you're a Linux user, which I know some of you are, you'll already have an access to it. I'm going to start GIMP up here and it is GIMP 2.6, uh, freebie program again. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to fill the requirements of this image. Now what I've done here is, uh, and maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, let me uh, minimize GIMP here. Uh, the file that I have put out there, uh, moboot.reverendkjr uh, underscore fast, the reason it's fast is because the original one, the image was bigger and took longer to load. Uh, in this zip file, and I'm going to open this up, uh, which it opens up with uh, WinRare, my, my compression program of choice. And in here are two folders, a boot and a meta inf. And we're going to go into the boot folder, and you'll notice that there is a TGA file. Now this TGA file, uh, is, it's Targa. Targa is a file structure uh, that is specifically used for uh, MoBoot and other things. And uh, I'm going to do another video someday down the road showing you how to change some of the other Targa images on our device and, and you can tweak your and customize your uh, uh, touchpad even more. But this file right here being a TGA file uh, needs to have specific criteria. It also needs to be called moboot.background.tga. So whatever file we create, whatever image we create for our background must be named this. Now like I said previously, the original file was only 76 kilobytes and that's why MoBoot zips up real fast. The bigger the file, the longer it'll take to load. Now this file, uh, you have two options. Option number one is you can do a full screen 
image. So 1024 by 768 will be our size. Or you can do something smaller in the MoBoot menu will uh, repeat it. Uh, so you could do possibly a pattern and have it repeat if that's your choice. Now that'll come up faster because it'll be a smaller image. Once we finish our image, we're going to put it into this folder and then we can dump it onto our touchpad and flash it. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to close this for right now. We'll bring GIMP back up. Now, if you haven't used GIMP before, and, and honestly, today was the first day I've used GIMP, uh, it, it's relatively similar to Photoshop if you're familiar with Photoshop. So I'm going to go into File and New, and I'm going to create a new file, and it's going to be 1024 by 768 pixels. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I've got this new image, and it's, again, 1024 by 768. You've got several options here. You can either A, um, you know, draw, you know, something on here and, uh, you know, just that'll be your background. You can save this file or uh, you can do what I did, which is go out and uh, uh, basically go find an image that you like. And uh, I'm going to show you what I did here. What I found to be the easiest thing to do is to just go to Google and type in some sort of uh, uh, <laughs> search for some sort of background. Hey, there we go. I like that. Okay, so this image is um, 400 by 300. You can see here uh, under the Google image search, it's only 400 by 300. Um, that's fine. Uh, we can stretch it out. So I'm just going to go here and save this image. Now, obviously, I don't need to tell you about, um, you know, copywriting and all of that. That's, you know, I'm, I'm not your parents and I'm not the cops. So, uh, okay, so we've got that file now and it's on my uh, desktop uh, somewhere. And so I'm going to actually, <laughs> I'm just going to create, uh, just do a new one here. 1024 by 768. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. Don't save. Okay. And uh, I'm actually going to also open the new one that I got. Now, obviously, uh, it would help if I knew what I called it or what it was called. Okay, well, silly me. I'll just go look real quick. DK-YS, okay. Open. It also would help if I go to desktop. There it is. Okay, so on my desktop, there's the image file. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And here it is. And so it's teeny tiny, and we need to put it over here. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to edit and go to copy. And I'll close this now don't save and then I'll go to edit and I'll go to paste I'm gonna maximize this here now the goal is is to get this that size and so what we can do is we can actually use the uh, the move here the move tool and I'm gonna move it up to the very top and then I'm gonna use the scale to stretch it and I'm going to stretch it out and so I'm just going to drag it here and I want to fill up the white space and then when I'm done I'll hit scale okay so now this fills up my entire area uh, so I'm going to now whoop, so now I'm going to go in close this here just move this out of the way I'm going to go to file and I'm going to do save as. Now this is the important part. We know that we need it to be called moboot dot background. And we want to save it into, well, somewhere obvious that we know where to get it. And where it says select file type by extension, I have to go look for Targa. And it's Targa image with a TGA extension. And I'm going to hit save. And it might come up and say, well, wait a minute, we can't do that. Or we have, so you can either merge or flatten the image. I just always flatten. And then uh, I hit export. 
Now, here's an important part. RLE compression. We do need to make sure that that's checked off, uh, but, but I have absolutely no idea why. I'm imagining that that makes it a smaller file. Uh, the origin, I believe that this has to do with um, how it, if it's a patterned image, uh, bottom left and top left, I haven't played with that just yet. And so I'm going to save. And that should be it. So now I'm going to go to my desktop. And I have now a Moboot. Uh, well, no, that's my old one. Ah, okay. So here it is. But it didn't save in the Moboot.background. So I'm actually going to have to go in and change the name of this. Okay. Moboot.background.tga. Now, be aware. This is a 2.22 megabyte file. That's a hefty file. Uh, GIMP does not give me the option, at least, again, I, I, first day using GIMP. I have not found a way to make it smaller uh, in the respect that it doesn't give me the option to change the type of Targa file that it is. But basically from here, we need to get uh, this file uh, into our zip file. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay, let's put this file where it belongs. Um, we're going to take this file here that we've created, and we're going to put it into our uh, zip file. <clears throat> and, and again, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, WinRare because that's just my uh, program of choice. You can use whatever you'd like. Uh, WinRare, though, is going to be the easiest to do this with. Basically, we're going to go into the boot folder in this zip file, and you'll notice that there's a file there called moboot.background.tga. We've got our file called moboot.background.tga, and you'll notice this one's one megabyte and this one's two plus. And I'm just going to take this file and I'm going to drag it in, and you'll notice the little plus sign showing that it's going to add it. And I do that, and this box pops up. Now, under compression method, you want to do store. You don't want it to compress because it's not compressed zip file. It's just a collection of files. So by hitting store and then hitting OK, this file gets updated. And now we have a 2.3 megabyte file in this zip. So I'm going to close it. I'm also going to rename it because the last thing I want to do, and it's moved it over here, uh, the last thing I want to do is replace the already awesome one that I've created. And so I'm just going to call it, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Moboot Your Name. So there's your own personal Moboot file. Now, we need to put this onto the touchpad. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip over to the, uh, I'm going to flip over to the touchpad. Uh, well, first I'm going to copy this onto the root of my touchpad, uh, which you really don't need me to show you how to do that. But I am going to flip over to my touchpad then after I copy the file, and we're going to do the rest from there. So here we are at my current Moboot screen, and I'm going to go into Clockwork Mod. Uh, you can do this on Twerp. I, I, I just haven't put Twerp back on my device since I've uh, uh, flashed Ice Cream Sandwich onto it. Okay, so Clockwork Mod comes up, and what we're going to do, focus a bit, alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and find that zip file. So we're going to go to install zip from SD card, and then we're going to go to choose zip from SD card, and then we're going to go looking for it. Now there is the moboot.yourname file. Uh, you'll also see my fast and then the original one which was relatively slow. Alright, so moboot.yourname, I'm going to choose that and I'm going to say yes and it will install it and then we'll go back and then we will reboot the system And again, bigger images take a little bit longer to load. Hey, look at that. Let me adjust the 
Okay, so that's it. Now, obviously, some images are going to be um, easier or not so easy to uh, to do to manipulate. Some images are going to be prettier on the eyes, uh, or you can go and uh, try to create something yourself. Uh, I believe that GIMP is an easy alternative. Um, in, in terms of going, I know I had mentioned I was going to go back and show you in Photoshop, but honestly, I, I think GIMP does an okay job. Uh, the only caveat to this, the only thing that could cause some problems is that the uh, the place that this file goes into, which is your your boot uh, area of, of the device, uh, is limited to 30 megabytes. Now, mine currently, with Ice Cream Sandwich and WebOS and Clockwork Mod installed, is right under 19 megabytes. So I have 11 megabytes to play with in terms of uh, other files. So keep that in mind uh, when you make your TGA image that you know you don't want it to be huge especially if you've got other things going on I know some of you are doing uh, like Linux or, uh, or Ubuntu or whatever it is that you're uh, loading on top of uh, other stuff tri boot and quad boot and all of that craziness uh, so just just remember that you only have a certain amount of room here now some of you will go well, I can't get this to load because I don't have enough room uh, I, I do show you in your uh, in another video on my channel to uh, on how to go in and install internals pro under webOS and, and get rid of some of the nonsense you don't need. All right, so uh, I encourage you all to go out and do this. If you do choose to use Photoshop uh, and you save your TGA file, you can choose 16-bit as opposed to 24-bit, and I find that that uh, cuts the image uh, almost in half. Uh, that's what I've done with my faster one is I use 16-bit, but just make sure you do have RLE checked off. That is uh, necessary for a compression ratio and all that. Okay, uh, I do want to say thank you to J.C. Sullins for spending the time to explain this to me. Now that he's explained it to me, and I've explained it to you, I expect to see all sorts of fun stuff popping up. I do encourage you to share uh, with the community any any fun uh, tweaks that you do, and uh, everybody benefits from that sort of thing. So this has been Reverend Kyle showing you how to uh, theme or tweak uh, your Mobu menu.